Top 10 Most Popular Supercars of 2023 View the top supercars to find the right car for you. Supercars are powerful, fast, and come with upscale interiors. Whether you care about speed, the quality of cabin materials, or handling abilities, our rankings and reviews will help you find what you need. From Porsche to Pininfarina, Lotus to Lamborghini, these are the supercars of the moment. All Rankings 10. Hennessy Venom F5 Fury That's what Hennessy calls the Venom 6.6-liter twin-turbo V8, good for 1,792 brake horsepower and 1,192 pounds FT of torque. Yep, seems pretty apartment. With its bespoke carbon tub and panels it weighs 1,360 kg dry, just 30 kg more than a Ferrari F8 Tributo, and yet it has over 1,000 brake horsepower more. Performance is equally mind-boggling, it'll do 0 to 250 miles per hour in 15.5 seconds, more than twice as fast as a Bugatti Chiron. Tough luck if you want one, all 24 being produced have found buyers, with the first having been delivered just last month. We wait to hear whether it can achieve Hennessy's claimed 311 miles per hour top speed. 9. Porsche 911 Turbo S Come sunshine or showers, track, A road, B road, motorway, and with 641 brake horsepower and 590 lbft to play with from its 3.7 liter twin turbo flat six, it ate them all up and still had room for dessert. On its way, it beat the likes of the McLaren 765LT and the Ferrari F8, too. Not bad for a comfy four-seat coupe with a big boot. 8. Lotus Evija. See that Tron-style paint job? Yeah, we designed that. Not to blow our own trumpet or anything. We'll leave that to the rest of the car, and what a car it promises to be. For motors, four-wheel drive, 1,972 brake horsepower, 0 to 62 miles per hour in well under 3 seconds, 0 to 124 miles per hour in 6 seconds, and 124 miles per hour to 186 miles per hour in half the time it takes a Bugatti Chiron. 7. Maserati MC20. Maserati's latest rejuvenation plan starts here, and if the MC20 is a sign of things to come, we're mighty pleased about that, too. The Italian manufacturer's first supercar since the MC12, it was conceived and launched in just 24 months, and all the while in the midst of a pandemic, too. Looks the part, doesn't it? The mid-engined 3.0-liter V6, complete with F1-grade pre-chamber combustion tech and outputting 621 brake horsepower and 538 pounds FT of torque, is pretty handy too, while a pure electric-only powertrain is set to come later. 6. McLaren Speedtail You'll surely be up to speed with the Speed Speedtail, by now, but the fact remains, it still holds the title of McLaren's fastest car ever, 250 miles per hour, achieved at the old Space Shuttle landing strip at Kennedy Space Center in Florida, courtesy of 1,036 brake horsepower from its hybridized 4.0-liter twin-turbocharged V8. That, and its super streamlined shape, which in a world of same-same supercars remains as suited to the red carpet as anything else that's gone before it. The Senna can only look on enviously. 5. Ferrari 812 Competizione The 812 features a naturally aspirated V12, no electric gubbins or turbos in sight, but it's also quite possibly the last we'll ever see. We're not crying, you are. It's essentially a go-faster, er, super-fast, with power up to 819 brake horsepower and torque to 513 pounds foot add in much weight saving and aero work and the results are predictably ballistic. If, as suspected, it is Ferrari's last bastion of non-hybrid NAT ASP, it's not a bad way to go out. 4. Lamborghini Sion With a name derived from the Bolognese dialect for lightning bolt, it's no surprise that electrification is the Sion's talking point, too. 
It features a tuned version of the Aventador SVJ's 6.5-liter, naturally aspirated V12, with another 34 brake horsepower of electrical oomph, courtesy of lithium-ion supercapacitors, added for a total of 808 brake horsepower. And while that electroboost may not sound a whole lot in the grand scheme of things, it helps to smooth out the savage gearshifts that have plagued Lumbos since the Aventador. 3. Pininfarina Batista Meet the sister car to the Rimac Nevera. It's based around the same powertrain technology, electrical architecture and carbon core, Rimac supplies the internal gubbins, but wears an Italian frock of Pininfarina design. Worried about charging? No drama, Pininfarina has agreed a deal with ChargePoint, meaning free charging for five years. Which means, theoretically, if you get enough miles under your belt, you could break even on the £2 million purchase price. 2. Rimac Nevera The Nevera is astonishingly fast. Fast in a way that's tricky to put into words, either while you're sitting in it trying to process what the hell is happening to your mind, body and soul when you nail the throttle, or a few days later writing about it, wrote Jason Barlow when he got the call to test drive the Rimac Nevera in Croatia last year. So allow us to hit you with some numbers instead, courtesy of a 120 kWh battery, for motors driving each wheel individually, and a power output equivalent to 1914 brake horsepower and 1740 pounds FT of torque, Mate Rimac's hypercar is capable of 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.85 seconds, 100 miles per hour in 4.3 seconds, and 186 miles per hour in 9.3 seconds, onto a 258 miles per hour max. 1. Bugatti Chiron Super Sport. Behold, the world's fastest production car. Yep. The Go Faster Super Sport is based on the Bugatti Chiron that Andy Wallace piloted to 304.773 mph back in 2019, and features an 8.0-liter quad-turbo V16 producing an extra 100 brake horsepower over the standard Chiron. All in, that's 1,578 brake horsepower at your disposal. In fact, there's just one difference to the Chiron which smashed the 300 mph barrier, the top speed has been limited to a mere 273 mph. I hope to inspire you and help you learn more about your favorite theme. Subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think.